Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I am Damon Ramos. And I'm Angelina Jordy. Today is Wednesday, April 5th, and we're here with your afternoon announcements. There's a Cesar Chavez Youth Leadership Conference coming up on May 6th. That is a free motivational event for college and career. It's open for middle schoolers and up, and it will be held from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. at UC Davis. Now let's pay a visit to Nisha and Kylie to see what's happening in the world of entertainment. Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I'm Nisha Samurai. And I'm Kylie Vangelista. Sadly, not Ethan Nguyen. So let's get into some media. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has got a new trailer, and I gotta say... It looks amazing. There's also a pretty cool MCU reference in there and a pretty popular meme. I'm really glad they added that in there. The one where three Spider-Man point at each other? Yeah. Just like, they're just like pointing at each other like... Mm. And speaking of superheroes, a new film has come out following the story of Blue Beetle. Jami Reyes is a teenager from El Paso, Texas, who comes across a beetle that gives him superpowers and weapons. The trailer looks super good. I know DC fans will be a huge fan of this one. Now, let's hear from Angelina on her review of the HBO hit, The Last of Us. Don't watch The Last of Us. This show is horrible. It is the source of at least half of my stress and sadness, causing me to cry repeatedly while watching. Never has a show made me feel so disconnected from the world, yet so focused on it at the same time. Every time I see traffic on the freeway or hear someone groaning, I think, what if this is it? What if it's the end? What kind of show does that to a person? And the characters are so human. They don't have heartfelt motives, and they're just selfish, only looking out for themselves. It is rare to find someone doing something solely out of the goodness of their heart. I think I've almost died while watching the show. Some scenes make you hold your breath. You don't even realize you're doing it. The only thing you're focused on is staying as quiet as you possibly can. Has the show stayed true to the game? In most parts, yes. A few scenes and plot points have changed in the adaptation, but they fit. So, don't watch The Last of Us. Sweet, I might check it out later. Oh yeah, Nisha, did you hear what's coming out today? No, what's coming out? The countdown on waiting for the Super Mario Bros. movie is over. The movie is out in theaters today. Make sure you get your tickets fast because it will definitely be sold out by Nintendo fans. Personally, my favorite character is probably Rosalina. It's finally coming out. My favorite character is Toad. I always play him in Mario Kart. Well, hopefully you'll see Ethan and Nisha next week. I'm Kylie Benjamin. And I'm Nisha Sama. See y'all later, later, Wolfpack. Thank you, Kylie and Isha. I am so excited for the new Spider-Man movie. Me too. Elk Grove Civic Summer is hosting a two-week seminar course about the local community from June 20th to July 1st, and a three-week internship with local public agencies such as the Fire Department, Communications, and Public Affairs from July 11th to July 29th. This is only for current sophomores and juniors. Applications are due April 17th, and for more information, please check your Synergy email. Senior Ball is coming up on April 8th. See, the tickets are $85, and these tickets can be bought at the student store. The last day to buy tickets is today, and make sure you're not on the no activity list before going. The football program is looking for student managers and statisticians for next year's football season. Interviews will be conducted today, Wednesday, April 5th, and April 12th. If you're interested, please visit Coach Billings' room in HG5 for an application and more details. Now once again, let's go see our two himbo jocks, Darren and Jonah, for sports. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Jonah Mercado, and we're back with... Sports. sports. Starting off with school sports last week, our tennis team beat Jesuit with seven wins and two losses. Congratulations to player Justin Ning for being the player of the match. Great job. In volleyball news, our boys lost against Sheldon. But, let's check out their game against Jesuit.
Great effort, guys. For our softball team, our women have an away game against Franklin at 4. Good luck. In baseball news, our boys team recently lost against Monterey Trail, but they have a game coming up against Jesuit, so good luck. In national sports news, the NFL, Tom Brady has returned yet again. Yeah, this was inevitable. This dude will not retire. Anyway, he's back on the Patriots, and recently, he's bought a stake in the WNBA's Las Vegas Aces. And no, I'm definitely not upset he came out of retirement and went with the Raiders. Well, in golf news, longtime professional Tiger Woods returned to Masters yesterday. Although he didn't win the tournament, him coming back to Masters and playing on his leg, which was nearly amputated from a brutal car crash, is an amazing feat on its own. He says, quote, I don't know how many more I have left in me, end quote. But this wasn't in a tone of resignation, but, a, a, but of acknowledgement of his condition and resolve to continue. It's truly inspiring. Yeah, I guess this week is the return of the old men, Jonah. In NHL news, yesterday, the New Jersey Devils beat the Pittsburgh Penguins 5-1. The Carolina Hurricanes beat the Ottawa Senators 3-2 in a close game for Martin Neckes, winning his fourth overtime win this year. As far as the standings, we have the Boston Bruins in first, followed by Carolina's Hurricanes and New Jersey's Devils. The Bruins play tonight against the Leafs at 6. For the NBA, first off, i got to apologize to Coach Leach for dogging on his team, the Sacramento Kings, seven games earlier than intended. Anyways... This season's MVP race between Nikolai Jokic, Joel Embiid, and Giannis Antetokounmpo will be coming to, to a close in a few days. Yeah, Jokic is looking to become the first player since Larry Bird to win a third consecutive MVP award, while Embiid dropped his third 50-point performance against the Celtics yesterday. Let's not forget Antetokounmpo, who's led the Bucks to the best record in the NBA this season. And he has a Fortnite skin, too. Well, that's all we have for you this week. He's Ice Spice. And he's Peter Griffin. See you all next week. Thank you, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. I'm Damon Ramos. And I'm Angelina Doherty. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Caramel, Caramel Day, Wolf Pack. pack.